Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, March 16th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have some shaded squares on our grid today. It looks like there's four groups of four shaded squares. Let's start with one across. What do you blank? Popular modern party game. Hmm. I don't know if I've heard of this party game. Gargantuan. Is it immense? Pink slipped. Well, that means you've been fired. So maybe this is axed? Let's see if that's right. Kayak alternative. This is very tricky. This is not about the little boat that you paddle. This is about the website Kayak that you use to compare flights. That is very, very tricky. So this is going to be Expedia, I bet. Get togethers. Hmm. It's not meetings. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Singer McCain with the 1998 hit I'll Be. I feel like I've heard this song before. I don't think I know the name of the singer, though. Take hold. Hmm. Shrug. And this is a bracket clue, so we need to come up with a verbal equivalent of this nonverbal shrug in the clue. I wonder if it's I dunno. Yeah, that's a pretty informal verbal equivalent. Notable. Is it just big? Gargantuan. Hmm. Heading in the right direction. And this is wordplay, so this is not just about going in the right direction. I wonder if this is going to be a heading according to a compass. And if you're going right on a compass, you'd be going east. That was nicely tricky. Gargantuan. Hmm. I wonder if it ends in size. Notable. Hmm. Oh boy. Let's take a look at this long across here. Form of racing that requires one foot on the ground at all times. Form of racing? I guess that would have to be speed walking, right? Um. Hmm. That doesn't fit though, does it? Form of racing. Hmm. I think it has to be speed walking. Is this gray box doing something weird? I wonder. Does it go up? Hmm. What is this? Sister of King Charles III. Oh god, I have no idea. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some of these downs. 16 cups abbreviated. I wonder if that's a gallon. Hmm. I wonder if this is the end of walking. This is probably not a D here. Um. And maybe this is not an E. We should probably take all of this out. Maybe this is speed walking? I wonder. That would make this an A. Maybe this is an? I'm not 100% sure about this. Oh boy. Get togethers. Well, maybe this could be meetups. Okay. I think this probably is going to be a W. Is it Edwin McCain? Hmm. Take hold. Yeah, that should be set in. Uh. What is this? I have no idea. This looks like it has to be massive, though. So this is VIP? Notable? This is notable as a noun? Wow, that is very, very tricky. And what do you meme? I guess maybe it has to be, right? Ooh, that's really tricky. I've never heard of that. Kind of ray. That could be a gamma ray. Okay. Deafening. Hmm. 
Is it a roar? Holy scroll holder. Yeah, in a temple that would be an arc. Like towelettes in a fast food restaurant. Those would be moist towelettes. It's heaven sent. That could be food from heaven. That's mana. Okay. Neighbor of chlorine on the periodic table. It's looking like that might be argon. And this was a roar. So what do we have in our gray square here? It looks like it's a weed, right? I wonder if we have weeds sprouting up in our grid today. That's kind of interesting. Sort unlikely to stoop, say. I guess that would be a snob. Mediocre effort. Is that your B game instead of your A game? Maybe. Complicated situation. I would really want this to be a tangled mess. So how would we put that in here? L E D M E S. Oh, that doesn't fit. Tangled mess. Yeah. Hmm. So maybe that's not what this is. Shoot. Okay. Makeup artists. And this is wordplay, so this is not about somebody applying cosmetics. I think this is somebody that likes to make up stories. That would be liars. Nice, okay. Buenos blank. That could be Buenos Aires. This might be rigged. That could be a mast on a ship. Chairs EG. I wonder if this is about heading up a meeting. Could it be leaders? That would fit. Yeah, chairs would be an example of leaders. Hmm, that would give us a DE here. And that would be an end to Tangled. I wonder if it is leaders. Let's try that. Who says, play it, Sam, in Casablanca. That was Ilsa Lund. Okay. Contingencies, that should be ifs. Beef that's aged. And this is wordplay. So maybe this is about an argument, an old argument. Ooh, that could be a feud. That is a really clever clue. I love that one. Satirist Mort. That's an old comedian. That's Mort Saul. So what do we have here? Be beautiful, an equivalent phrase. I think they should also be a very enunciated so weed. Okay, so we have another weed here. It's rotated a little bit, um, but it is still a weed. Tangled web, oh, there we go. Motorists of fence for short should be a DWI. And this is ad libs, wings things, nice. Okay, home of the USS Arizona Memorial. I'm gonna guess that's in Hawaii, in Oahu. Spot for a stud or a bud. Maybe it's your ear? Because you could have a stud earring and also an earbud, yeah. Very tricky. Candy in a gold foil wrapper. I think that's a Rolo. So this should be another weed, right? I wonder if it's gonna keep going counterclockwise. Let's see, that would be W-E-E-D, right? Let's see if that's right. Count us in, an equivalent phrase. Um, hmm. Is this how? Hockey legend Gordy. Yes, that is right. Essay count abbreviated. That should be words. Creatures described as Anguilliform. Uh, I've never seen this word before, but I'm gonna guess that it's eels. It sounds like it could be describing something kind of slithery. Okay, home of the Nobel Peace Center. That's gotta be Oslo. Vavavoom. Okay, count us in. Hmm, I guess this is could we ever? instead of could I ever? Is that right? Go a few rounds, say. And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not about 
boxing? Maybe it's about drinking. Hmm. Is it could? I don't know. Elizabeth of WandaVision. That's Elizabeth Olsen. Okay. I don't really see how this could start with TC. Maybe it's would we ever? Would you like to come? Would we ever? Okay. Go a few rounds. So this has got to be a W. Hmm. Churn. Maybe that's royal. Hmm. What is this going to be? Twist? I guess that would make a kind of sense. Is this another S? Ones who know what's coming. Shouldn't that be Sears? So maybe this is twirl. Oh man, it's just about twirling around. That's very tricky. Okay, so this should be a W and this should be a D, right? If we're rotating. And that's our fourth weed. Editorial overhaul. That should be a rewrite. Like a certain Freudian complex. I think that would be an Oedipal complex. All right. Pop singer's nickname that omits 51 across. Uh, I wonder if it's Ariana. Ariana Grande. Woman's name that's a palindrome. It could be Anna, yeah. Not go to bed. That's gotta be stay up. Is this the yips? Golfer's involuntary wrist spasms while putting with the... Yeah, that is the yips. Those are the dreaded yips. You definitely don't want to get those. Hexagon bordering two rectangles. Is that the state of Utah? That's very sneaky. Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes and fire. Ooh, I don't know if I know this one. Is this she said? Critically acclaimed 2022 biographical drama? I think it has to be. So this is Pele? Yeah, I've definitely not heard of this goddess before. Through the Looking Glass character. Okay, this has to be Tweedledee or Tweedledum. So this is a D. C's. Maybe that's Dates, if we're talking romantically. Ingenuity Org. That was a probe launched by NASA. C's. Hmm. This has to be an E or a U. I wonder if it's usurp. And then that means this has to be an M. First lady between Bess and Jackie. Oh my god, so this is Bess Truman and Jackie Kennedy. So that means we're looking for Mrs. Eisenhower. Was her name Mamie? I want to say that it was, although I'm not super confident. Let's put it in and see if we can build off of it. Great Lakes people. Yeah, maybe that's the Eries? Is that right? Hit the mall say. I wonder if that's spend. Hebrew word meaning son of. I think that's Ben, right? Psychopharmacology initials. Is that LSD? Oh my god, is this gonna be tumbleweed? That's so funny. Yeah, we've got a bunch of tumbleweeds blowing through. Plant scene rolling through this puzzle. Yeah, that is definitely tumbleweed. What a fun revealer. All right, let's see if we can finish this corner here. Blubber, that's gotta be sob. Shakespearean humor? Humor? Hmm, is this a word that means humor? I don't know. Intestines place. Intestines? I guess that would be in your midsection. Hmm, University of Georgia athletes to fans. Are they dogs? I wanna say they might be. Big to do. So maybe this is a big party? Or maybe it's a big commotion. Could that be a stir? Take on together. That should be tag team. Developing say. I wonder if that's something that's in utero. 
That would be a baby developing. Family friendly for the most part. I guess that's rated PG. So this is Garp? John Irving protagonist T.S. Garp. Is that the world according to Garp? And this is Smog, possible cause of a cough. Yeah, that's definitely right. Italian for milk. Hmm. Shakespearean humor. So I guess this has to be mid-gut, right? And then maybe this is bile? I guess this is talking about the humors that people believed were in the human body, like black bile, yellow bile, and blood, stuff like that. That is very, very tricky. All right, well, let's throw this L in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Thursday puzzle in 25 minutes. So we had a few tumbling tumbleweeds blowing through our puzzle today. Yeah, for a Thursday theme, this isn't crazy complicated, but I still thought this was a lot of fun. I really loved this revealer, and I also think it's so cool that it feels like the tumbleweed is actually blowing through. It's kind of rotating, so it really gives you that sense that it's blowing along. And it's really nice that each of our theme answers uses a slightly different permutation of these letters. That is very cool. And some of these theme entries are really fun. Tweedledum and Tangled Web are especially nice. The wordplay clues were really on point today too. I think this was probably my favorite, Beef That's Aged, for a feud. That is so clever. I also liked Makeup Artists for Liars. And this was really nice too, heading in the right direction for East. And I also loved this kayak misdirection. Yeah, we're not taking this kayak out on the lake this weekend. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed tumbling through this Thursday puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the themeless Friday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.